Hello there. Well, pushing on with the battery box. Decided on a slightly smaller, lighter weight kind of rig for this application, I think. Really make the most of the fact that there's a, a very centralised weight distribution. And I want to try and keep that <clears throat> so I can do a little bit of off-roading if I want. But I'll bring you up to date with this. You've seen lightning rods, he's on there. We've got it fixed on on the bottom bracket now thanks to a, a loan of a tool. You need one of these things and that engages with these castellations around there. Now normally when they come the, the hole in the middle is not big enough. You can't get it round this shaft. So you've got to machine it out and luckily I've got a friend who's already done just that. So the middle of this is just a standard park tool uh, socket to engage with these and we've just milled the middle out. He had it done, it was CN, uh, did it on a lathe I think, just turn that so it'll go straight over. So you'll need one of those if you're doing a rods kit, bear that in mind, or a spanner, one of the, you know, the C-shaped ones to go around. But they do take some getting in and you want to make sure they're tight because it's holding your bottom bracket together for your motor. It's mounted through that bracket there. So that's that. Then we moved on to uh, building a battery box out of aluminium nightmare can't find anything to stick it together and I ain't got a welder not for aluminium so I've had to use epoxy metal repair epoxy to be honest it's barely better than super glue but uh, I'm gonna there's a few more things I'm gonna try I might just have to try going around the inside here with some uh, I don't know some roofers mastic or I don't know something I've got to find some kind of adhesive that sticks this stuff so I'll give you an idea of how it's gonna look on the layout We'll be having a, it's going to be like a biscuit tin kind of layout, so you'll take one side completely off. So this will there'll be a lid on there, that will, and then there'll be fixings through top. as many of these as we're putting in here this is just a shift so just to show you one side of it's misbehaving isn't it? Come on. so there'll be six in there with some rubber padding of course there's plenty of room at the top there you can see so I'll be able to put rubber top and bottom and line all this Plenty of room for the cabling and the wiring. Plenty of room for the cabling to drop through from the controller and the cycle analyst. Plenty of room for it to come out of the bottom to engage with the motor. So it's going to be pretty cool. Lid straight on it. So that'll be nice. Take these back out. And uh, the lid will look pretty much like the other side. So I'll flip it around and show you what the other side looks like for the cosmetics. this top bit that's ropey those aren't the final fixings obviously but there you go you get an idea now it'll all be painted black because as uh, Jack Ricard on EVTV says if you paint stuff black it disappears and that's certainly the case here once that's got a coat of black paint on it it'll look far less obvious She's going to be quite a nice little lightweight rig, and all the weight's going to be bang in the middle, which is just where you want it. So, uh, yeah, we're we'll coming on. Next video, hopefully, I should have finished the battery box and uh, we'll have that fixed and painted. But let's see how we go. Still waiting for the controller coming, and I've still got to work out where I'm going to mount this cycle analyst screen. I really don't want to strap it on the handlebars, I like to mount it lower down on top of the frame, maybe. or maybe even straight on top of there but we'll see all right
well, sun's shining now, so uh, might as well go and enjoy it. Till next time.